Hello, art lovers, and welcome to Figure Study, where we appreciate the form in Transformers. And I am continuing Guardia Week, I guess you could say, with a look at Make Toys Rover. It was the second figure released in the series, and he is also very cool. Um, I'm not as much of a fan of him as I am of Axel, but then that's going to be true for most of the rest of the figures in this. But he is, he is pretty cool. He's a very compact little, uh, little figure. There's a, there's a lot of bot compressed into this little car. It makes transformation a little tricky. But uh, that's part of why my fingers are a little red. But, <laughs> but it's okay. He is very cool. Um, he is obviously a police car. And he's got... A nice an interesting distribution of color. He's got like this kind of white around the edges on the uh, sides of the front and back. There's this black stripe that mostly goes up all the way along the top of the car, although the, the front is still white. With uh, some nice light details and molded details in there. The headlights. Well, it's a little interesting that uh, the headlights section is painted silver, but the actual lights don't have any paint on them. Seems like a missed opportunity. And he's got flashing lights here, along the sides here and here. Now there are stickers that you can supposedly put in here to increase the reflectiveness, or whatever you want to call it, of these uh, translucent bits for the flashers, but I haven't put the stickers in because I'd worry that they would get kind of messed up during transformation. So I just kind of left them as is, and that's fine to me. Now you can see it's not just any police car. He is a sheriff. And uh, yeah, it's a decent amount of line work in the uh, logo there. Now one thing that I think is kind of weird with Rover here is the fact that his side windows are silver, but his front and back windshield are this translucent smoky plastic. And seeing as all you can see through the front and rear windshields are compressed robot parts, I'm kind of wondering why they didn't just paint everything silver. Like, why aren't all the windows silver? It just seems kind of unnecessary. But whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's some nice color here. Uh, there's unfortunately a little bit of a, a little bit of a sprue mark marring there, which is unfortunate. I'm also just now noticing, oh yeah, it's on that side, I'm also now noticing the car doesn't appear to have a, a place for gas to be put in. doesn't seem to have any kind of gas cap or anything. Oh well. Now the underside, it kind of looks like a folded up robot, but kind of not. You can see that he's going to be quite red once he's uh, <laughs> once he's transformed, and it's all kind of hidden in vehicle mode, which is nice. He's got some nice side mirrors, no paint, unfortunately, but yeah, he's he's cool looking. He's a nice, muscly, like modern muscle car looking uh, looking police vehicle. Again, though, I am a bit bothered by the fact that we've got silver for the sides and then the smoky plastic for the front and back that it serves no like it serves no purpose being see-through like that it's just like oh you can see his toes and you can see his um I, i'm trying to remember what that actually is i guess part of his feet more parts of his feet anyway so yeah, that is Rover in his, you know, imposing looking, despite its flaws, uh, an imposing looking police vehicle. Hello, just for fun. And so yeah, I will get him in his robot mode and I'll have more to say about that. Oh, that was a, that was an ordeal. Right. So Rover in his robot mode and... My fingers are even redder now. <laughs> he uh, he compacts down well, but the the drawback to that is 
it's kind of tricky to get him there and back. He's a bit of a, a bit of a pain to transform in places, but he is cool. Um, he wears his vehicle mode very well. Quite well, in fact. I really actually kind of like the uh, the front of the car being used as knee pads. And you've got the, uh, in the back here, makes a, a nice little chest plate. And yeah, he's, he's, he's a cool looking, cool looking robot. He's got this weird kind of red jumpsuit with very long, like, I don't know, it's like this weird kind of, it's just weird. <laughs> it's like he's got a red jumpsuit with like large boots and gloves that go up to his shoulders on but it works. I also am quite fond of how the uh, back section of the car forms these large shoulder pads. I think that's pretty cool. And the, uh, the wheels in the front there. So color-wise, this breaks up the black and white even more than Axel did, where you've got these just large chunks of red, red for the hands. You can kind of see from the different angles, you get even more red on him. He is cool. It's not, aside from the red, there's not really a whole lot of new details that are revealed. It's mostly he's, his vehicle mode is just kind of exploded out to make a robot body, which I'm okay with. Uh, he does have some little, nice little molded details on the inside, though. Which, uh, you know, they, they, I mean, I suppose they could have added more paint, but honestly, I feel like color-wise... He works really well the way he is, just the way it's all broken up, the little red accents just on the outside here for the hands and like the red in the center, but like the black and white going around the outside. It looks good and it's broken up nicely. These are about the only details, the only other details aside from his body and head that uh, you don't see in vehicle mode because these are actually folded around here and make up the bottom of the, uh, the car. Yeah, some nice detail on the forearms there, too. Looks like he's got kind of puffy sleeves, <laughs> which is okay. And again, I really dig the uh, the wheels for the shoulders. I think that's kind of cool. He is quite neat. Now, the uh, the head is okay. Um, I mean, it's, you know, nice, uh, nice detail, nice crisp lines on the paint. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit kind of, I don't know, almost generic looking to me. Although I do dig the uh, the blue eyes kind of doubling for like, they almost look like uh, state trooper sunglasses. Which kind of plays into the police motif a little more. You can also see there's some detail in the chest there, which you can see a little bit through the uh, the glass here, which is... Not glass, but, you know, it's supposed to be glass, but, like, the plastic here. Which I guess, okay, that is that is an excuse for this to be see-through, but, I don't know, it still seems like it was unnecessary. Like, it's a cool little detail, but one that, honestly, doesn't make or break anything. Uh, the, the clear down here is completely pointless. Because all you see is, like, just his ankles... But whatever. I'm going to try not to harp too much on that. So yeah, Rover is a pretty cool looking dude. He is, again, to my not to my mind, not as cool as Axel. But I do really like his uh, his shape. I like the, the way that the front of the car makes this sort of like flared out boot looking, uh, flared out boot looking ankle areas here and again I dig the front of the car the upside down split front of the car being used as knee pads and it kind of works really well too with the uh, the sections of the back of the car the sides being used for shoulder pads it kind of like these two elements really tie in time together really well yep. Rover is a cool looking guy he just doesn't quite hit the heights of Axel for me, but I do really, I really like his look. Pain in the butt transformation aside, 
he is a good looking robot. So that has been my look at Make Toys Rover. Oh, I need to give my fingers a little break. <laughs> They're so sore right now. Um, but as per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any combination of those three would be fantastic. And as usual, I will also have a link to get your own rover if you are so inclined down in the description below. You can start your own set of uh, Make Toys, not Protectabots, which I would actually recommend. They're all very cool. Spoilers. All right. Anyway, remember, as always, art is more than meets the eye.